In our modern civilization, to struggle financially means to struggle in every aspect of life. Welcome everyone, Dr. Anthony Cronita, fourth year, also known as Dr. Finance. And in this video, you will learn about what is finance. You will learn what the definition of finance is. This question, what is finance, is a very, very important question that's very dear to me, actually. The conclusions from me asking this question actually helped me to finish my first book and build on conclusions that led to my second and my third book. Before we tackle what is finance, I just want to state the importance of finance. Finance is so important that actually on my cover, I put a quote from the book itself, the, my first book, The Necessity of Finance, which states, in our modern civilization, to struggle financially means to struggle in every aspect of life. You, folks, if you struggle with your finances, it will affect every single part of your life. That's why finance is so important to me. And before we can really get to understand finance, I believe it's important to define it. One of my biggest challenges defining it was as a university professor, I had tons of textbooks and they all were not consistent with their own definition. Actually, many didn't even define it. And that's a problem to me because how can you have many people out there, financial planners and other folks uh, that are in the financial or financially related businesses, some sort, even educators that don't know what exactly they're teaching. What is the science that they're teaching from? It's kind of like a medical practitioner, a doctor, a medical doctor who doesn't really understand what medicine is and so on for any industry. So this was a big problem for me, and I had to start from the root, and the root was to ask and answer the question, what is finance? So before we get to my conclusion of what is finance, I want to state what it's not. In many textbooks, you will have different definitions. I'll just give you some samples of them. So one definition is it's the management of money. And that is an incorrect definition because it's just a part of the answer. So yes, partially it's correct. It is the management of money, but money is just a part of finance. You see certain investments like real estate and um, bonds and stocks, and you name it. They may be, sometimes they may be stated in dollar, dollar amounts, um, but the there are other aspects that are much more comprehensive that need to be included. For example, at a much higher level, that includes all assets, not just monetary assets or, or assets stated in money, but all assets. And it really, in a holistic viewpoint, which as I mature my thinking in finance over the, over the years, um, I really started to understand that all every there's so many different other aspects that we can include in assets, including our health, especially our health. Now, you might not have a, a value to that. There may not be a, a, a number to put on the balance sheet, but certainly our health is, is an asset. It's something we own and should respect. So money is not Management of money is not an acceptable definition. It is too narrow. Another definition is management of wealth. We're getting warmer, but it's still not enough for the same reasons as the prior. It is too narrow. It doesn't answer the question, management of wealth for who? And this was the critical point that eventually took me to my definition, which I'll share with you in a little bit, which by going deep and trying to figure out the riddle to that, question, I actually figured out the riddle to what economics is, which led to a whole bunch of other conclusions. So I'm getting ahead of myself. One other definition I would like to dismiss is that finance is managing investments. 
And you'll, this definition will come in various forms. But it's the same issue either way. Again, too narrow because finance deals with more than just investments. It, de it deals with savings, which is not always investing. Sometimes you just put stuff under your bed, you hoard it, you don't expect any interest rate on it, any interest, any return on that investment. Sometimes you, you just want to save for saving's sake. This is not the same thing as investing, although it leads to investing. So investing is not a part, is only a part of the answer. There are other, there are other aspects that come into finance. And also, how about like other scenarios, such as debt? Okay, sometimes debt is related to investing. You might uh, take out a, a loan to go buy a real estate property. You could also take out a loan just to buy some jewelry that you want. So sometimes loans have to do with investing, but not all the time. But loans always have to do with your personal wealth, which is a part of finance. So investing, again, is just a part of the definition of finance management of, of your investments yes it's a part of it but it's not it's not again uh comprehensive so we, it's too narrow we need to go bigger all right so there are, are other variations of these three definitions um but generally it all re results in the same destination which is that it's it's not um it's not a complete answer so with that said, in 2013, early 2013, I published The Necessity of Finance. And as a university professor, originally just to discuss finance and help make a, a, a nice little book for my students to get to know the subject better, an overview. But I, I discovered upon some really deep conclusions there, which led to other books. And in particular... It was this question here. What is finance? So here we go. So my definition of finance from early 2013 is stated in chapter two of that same book, The Necessity of Finance. Finance is the science of management wealth for an individual, a group, or an organization. So let's break that down. Okay, so management of wealth. This is all kinds of wealth. All right. And, and you can look at your balance sheet, which is one of our major financial statements to really see where what our wealth is. OK, and it's our assets. It's our liabilities. It's everything we own and everything we owe. And the net result is our net worth, which we could also call our net wealth. OK, but every one of those. Uh, at, those components on the balance sheet can be a reflection of our wealth. So if we if we have a lot of assets that can be. That's, that's stated as our, our wealth. Our liabilities are, are the reverse. It, it starts detracting from our wealth. But we have to take that into consideration because you can have a lot more assets than liabilities on one hand, or you can have a lot more liabilities than assets. And they're two totally different scenarios. If you have more debt than what you, you, your assets are, what you own, then you're actually negative, you're broke or insolvent. <laughs> so um, that's that's not a good thing to have, okay? So your wealth uh, comes in the form of cash, of course, money, of course. Um, it could also be investments, real estate. It could be goodwill, okay, which is beyond the scope of this conversation. Um, Long-term assets, short-term assets, right? So it's the, finance again is the management of wealth, all these things we just talked about. And, especially including money, including your investments. But here's the key, for an individual, a group or an organization. Now this extra part is really what sets this definition apart from, from anything that's out there. Um, at the time when I wrote my book, for sure, and at the time um, of this video, to my knowledge, it, there, there still has not been uh, any other definition that's come close to this. And I think this is this is good enough to really shape our science to, and, and give it the proper respect. So the, when you're managing wealth individually, that's for personal finance, for you know groups like chess clubs and things like that, um, that's 
they also need to manage their wealth. Organizations, companies, larger organizations, and there's a gray line between groups and organizations, uh, that's for sure. But the point is that in either case, no matter whether they're a profit organization or a not profit organization, if they're as small as a little soccer club or as big as McDonald's, they still need to manage their wealth and they got to do it right. If they don't, then they could um, eventually uh, uh, not have any money left or any wealth left. And these are some of the conclusions, the bigger conclusions that, that I talked about in my other books as well, which is, is one of the things I'm known for is explaining how finance is an extension of survivalism. It's actually um, the next step. So if you don't learn finance, you can't survive properly. And if you don't manage, in the case of the definition of finance, manage your wealth uh, as an individual, group, organization properly, then you, you are setting yourself up for um, a lot of struggles and potentially death. Because if you don't have enough, in the case of an individual, money to buy food and, and shelter and all that stuff, then that, that's a problem for your health. So, folks, th th just one last point I'm going to make about this definition because uh, I wanted to keep this video short and I'll make another video at another time about it. But this definition, the management of wealth for an individual group or an organization, which is which I have as the definition of finance, uh, it is different than the definition of economics. So by stating this, I was able to, to figure out what the definition of finance of economics should be. And very interestingly, um, the, one of the founders of economics, he's labeled as the founder of economics, Adam Smith, in his book called The Wealth of Nations, his title of that famous book in 1776 basically gave me a hint of what economics should be. Although in that book, he does talk a lot about um, the individual. He, he's also really talking about the, the, um, the nation, the, the, for the, the governments as well. And that's what economics is. It's the management of wealth. And get this, folks, this is very important. Not for an individual group or organization. Economics is the, def is the management of wealth for a nation or its divisions. So with division, we mean like it's city, a state, which is a bigger form. The city goes into state and at the highest level, the federal government. So all those, all those different governmental entities they fall under the realm of economics because their wealth is, a, is at the macro level. They can do things that individuals, groups, and organizations can't do. They can make taxes. They can make laws. They can print money. And this is the very important difference between economics and finance. You see, because with finance, us individuals, us groups, us organizations, us regular folks, we're operating within the rules and framework of the bigger organization that we fall in, our country, our city, our state, right? We have to follow their rules and play the game within those rules. We don't get to print money, okay? We don't get to, to make taxes. We have to pay taxes. So all the individual, I call them financial entities, individual group organization, versus economic entities, nation or its divisions. Us individual, our, us financial entities have to work within the framework of, of economics. That's why it's very, very different. We have in common management of wealth. Both of us, both entities have to manage their wealth. A nation has to manage their wealth. A city has to manage their wealth. Just like an individual group organization has to manage their wealth to maximize wealth and hopefully ethically. But even though we are doing that, we are doing it, we are managing our wealth uh, in a different way. We, us financial entities are managing our wealth within the framework, the, the laws set about by our economic entities. And that's why they're, this, they're similar, but they need to be treated as two separate sciences. Okay, so I will talk more about each one of these components maybe in later videos, but I just wanted a, a very short, simple video before I start getting into more educational videos. It's, it's very helpful, I think, to step back and just let you guys know where 
uh, about the foundation of everything I'm, uh, that I discuss. And it all starts with what is finance? Extremely important subject. Finance is very important. And this question is very important. I've spent much time reflecting on it. And folks, this is, I believe this answer to the definition, to the question of what is finance and, and to the definition needed for finance can actually, um, if laid properly, can build be the foundation to putting finance in, in the proper position to be respected as, as, a, as a rightful science. Right now, finance is not, um, we have a, a Nobel Prize, but it's under the realms of economics. And it should be a financial Nobel Prize, not an economic Nobel Prize. And that's another video. But before that can happen, we have to establish what the true definition of finance is. So I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. Um, this, this is a very important uh, subject. And by really thinking about what was discussed here, I think you're well prepared to really understand a lot of the, the future videos I'll be putting out there from this point forward. So thank you again, folks. Dr. Anthony Crenita Fourth here, also known as Dr. Finance. And you have been listening to one of my educational videos. This is not the official podcast, but if you want to check out my other podcast where I've interviewed all kinds of superstars, it's the Dr. Finance Live podcast. Go to my website, also drfinance.info, if you want to learn more about me. But more importantly, if you if you want to learn about what uh, what I was talking about here, this is all coming from my first book, The Necessity of Finance. I think it's a must for any finance student to start with that. And then this will lead eventually when you're ready or you want to, if you want to skip to, that's okay too. But I, I recommend to go in this order. The Necessity of Finance, my second book in 2014 was the most important lessons in economics and finance. And finally, the survival of the richest in 2016. So thanks again, folks. Appreciate everyone. And, and uh, definitely check out the, the, my collection on, on YouTube and, and look at the video library that I have. I have a lot of educational videos already out there and I'll be bringing a lot more maybe something something you're interested in um, to help them learn more about the subject. So thanks again, folks. Dr. Anthony Creator, fourth year, Dr. Frank, sign up. All right.